what up guys nakamoto crypto here so today we're gonna talk about an exchange that crashed way back in 2014 that has the potential to crash bitcoin all the way down to let's say ten thousand dollars stay tuned like and subscribe let's get right on to it so meet mount Gox. this exchange is one of the oldest exchanges in crypto at one point this exchange was one of the biggest exchanges in crypto so Mount was run by this French dude. It was founded by Jed McCaleb. For those of you who don't know who Jed McCaleb is, just look him up. He's one of the biggest XRP bag holders, pretty much. This guy, people beg him not to sell XRP because he has so much XRPs. From 2014 until now, he has been dumping XRP. Jed McCaleb founded Mount Gox way back in 2007, I believe it was called Magic the Gathering website. And then in 2010, he had a brilliant idea to create the first Bitcoin exchange. And then, you know, Mount Gox wind up being ran by this french dude who is this guy right here so long story short the exchange was either hacked or this dude took the money uh, nobody knew what really happened and people were just so furious and they were chasing to get their money back and this was a long ongoing battle between creditors investors and the guy who allegedly either hacked Mt. Gox and ran away with their Bitcoin or simply the people who caused the exploit to happen. So with over 100,000 BTC rumored to be hitting the crypto market soon, we could be bracing for another market crash. So basically that dude who was running Mt. Gox, he had made only one mistake that was to keep all the files keys and everything into one computer i think someone else have access to it or they took the bitcoin also he claims people are saying no this dude looks guilty he looks like he took it because uh, a year later back in 2015 this article came out that mount Gox bitcoin ceo was facing fresh allegations that he misused 8.9 million dollars in customers funds this was between 2013 and 2014 like right before the mount gox hacks so if he was up to these nefarious weird activities behind closed doors while he was running mount gox he could be guilty of just misusing those bitcoins or maybe he transferred them into his wallet nobody knows what mark Capellis did to those bitcoins unfortunately for the mount gox investors they waited eight almost nine years now look at that so that means those of you guys who were invested into celsius as celsius just declared bankruptcy you could be waiting maybe five six seven years to get your funds back from celsius because you know these things they take long it's a long custody court battles uh, back and forth you don't want to be tied up with stuff like this trust me so people are fearing that you know eight billion dollars are about to be dumped if sometimes this year the Mt. Gox investors would finally get their Bitcoin back. Imagine buying Bitcoin back then at $200 and you have like 100, 100 BTC locked in Mt. Gox. Of course, you're going to sell because Bitcoin is at $19,000 right now. If Bitcoin is at 19 k and you have 150 of them, at least you're going to sell like 50 or something and your life is set pretty much so that could drop the price of bitcoin significantly now i think the only thing that could save bitcoin from that black swan event is the fact that it is still hundreds of billions of dollars locked inside bitcoin meaning that back in 2018 we only had a few hundred million to like a few billion and then 2019 that was the perfect time for mongox to be dumping bitcoin and then destroy it but at these levels i think bitcoin is just too big to fail but it's gonna be bloody for like a day or two if mount Gox investors decided to dump their bitcoin into the market but i don't see this going further down in terms of value as to the point where it would damage the market because some people are out there on twitter talking about um mount Gox is gonna dump bitcoin all the way down to like three thousand dollars or something i don't think we would ever see a three thousand dollar bitcoin again i I think we need something major, something big to happen in order for stuff like that to happen for that kind of price range. I think Bitcoin could go as low as 10,000. That's just my opinion. But anything lower than that is a bonus for you to be getting back in. 
imagine buying bitcoin at eight thousand dollars knowing that just last year bitcoin was at sixty nine thousand dollars for example so that's a perfect entry point for you to be buying btc if the mount gax sell-off happens so that was mount gax as for the market it is still stagnating i mean bitcoin was at twenty two thousand just a few days ago it dropped further down because of fed policies and all this other stuff that is going on inflation you guys seen the inflation rates have been spiking up lately everything is expensive food gas water you know electricity you name it it's going to be harder for bitcoin to be dropping lower though because news like this keep coming out look at this the richest bitcoin whales btc holdings explodes to over what 2.5 billion dollars because an accumulation frenzy is happening go back and study wyckoff distribution guys the wyckoff people basically they control the market these are market movers and market makers there's a time where they accumulate and also there's a time where they sell there's coin watchers and people that watches these guys wallets movements and that and what they have been up major bitcoin wells they didn't even have to be early in bitcoin they just have enough capital to be dumping it into bitcoin and they can pump it make their major trade and then get out and if you're playing short-term game like if you're a short-term trader don't mess with these whales because they will eat you in bitcoin everybody knows that bitcoin whales are not to be messed with they're not to be played with and now we have bigger whales in bitcoin you have guys like michael strategy michael Stalia. you have you know institutional investors you have countries now adopting bitcoin as a legal tender like el salvador and them imagine if countries become well in the future to the point where they're going to compete with each other to see who holds the most bitcoin and who has more skin in the game to be able to ma manipulate these markets imagine someone like elon musk buying more and more btc using doge to build up his btc bag we all know that's what elon musk did um back in 2021 last year earlier on you know he used doge became popular with it and then you know he used that to get bitcoin so you can definitely you know count on btc for the future it is going to go back up because so much money will be tied up into bitcoin bitcoin would eat off the market cap of gold and not only that bitcoin would take over at least close to one percent of the global monetary energy meaning money itself the world's money bitcoin would at least take over one percent of it one day because just look at the history of it and how far bitcoin has grown since 2009 when satoshi nakamoto released it so with that being said what are your thoughts on mount gax are you worried that mount gax investors are going to dump on the market let us know in the comment section below as for me news like this was very scary back in 2017 but now i'm like man nah, the protocol is too big to fail the system the bitcoin system itself is too big to fail with that being said like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i've been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out